We have about eight inches of snow outside and it is bitter cold. Tonight I'm making an all time comfort food chicken meat pies. So let's get started. You're going to need a pound of ground chicken. One 16 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. One cup of potatoes. I happen to have some roasted veggies left over. One can of cream of chicken soup. One cup of sour cream. Two to three cups of chicken broth. Two tablespoons of flour. And for the spices, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon each of kosher salt and black pepper, half a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and a tablespoon of parsley flakes. In addition, you're going to need one whisked egg to brush the tops of the meat pies, and you need two pie crusts. I happen to be lazy tonight, and these are store-bought, but you can make your own if you wish. In a pan on medium-high, add two to three tablespoons of oil. I am using olive oil. Then add in your chicken. Cook for two to three minutes, breaking it up into small pieces. Add in your frozen vegetables, and if you have potatoes that are not cooked, now's the time to add those. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Add in all your spices and cook for an additional two to three minutes, stirring constantly. Add in your flour and stir. Cook an additional minute just to get the flour taste out. Add your chicken broth slowly and stir. You will see it thickening. Let it simmer for a couple more minutes. Next, add your cream of chicken and then your sour cream and give it a good stir. Bring it back up to heat and then turn off. Ladle the mixture into your oven bowls or ramekins and bring up to about a half an inch from the top.
For the pie crust, as you can see, I just divided into four sections. Nothing fancy here. Make a couple vent holes on the top and brush with the egg wash. Put into a 400 degree oven and bake for 30 minutes. I have to have three pieces of the pie crust left over, so I'm going to make dessert. I'm putting about a tablespoon and a half of apple butter in the center of each one and folding over to make a little mini pie. They remind me of my childhood when the Amish used to make a baked good called half moon pies. Brush the edges with the egg wash and fold over, then crimp and seal with a fork. Make a couple vent holes on the top and brush with the egg wash. Place on a parchment lined baking sheet and bake for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, supper's ready, and it's smelling good. The crust is nice and flaky, and the inside is rich with the chicken and all those vegetables and, oh my goodness, the chicken gravy. This is comfort food to the max. Oh, and the little half moon pies? They didn't last very long. Thanks for joining me here in Tess's Kitchen. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. Until next time, enjoy.